while it was going on, it was very happy. And it was like an island uh, in a, a place where trouble was already coming. Be, by 26, uh, the, the uh, Nazis were coming. They hadn't got there yet, but there was a lot of anti-Bauhaus feeling even as it began. So I think while he felt a certain pressure from the outside community, it's in no way reflected in the images that one looks at. And they weren't edited out. They're, they're, it's just the way they were. They were uh, living and laughing and secure uh, in the world that Gropius created for them. You wouldn't really want to fiddle with his tools, but when he wasn't working, he was very open. Uh, and I have to say, with his own materials, he was sometimes very careless. He, he really lived with his things. Uh, but this reaching back into the past, all of his tools, I mean, he bought new brushes, obviously, but a lot of stuff he was using uh, to make things out of wood and so on were his father's tools. They were very close, and my grandfather was very encouraging of my father's work. Uh, and always happy uh, to help him find a better way, but also feeling for very early on in, in letters to my grandmother, uh, he would talk about Lux's progress and how he was coming along much faster than, than he had come along. Uh, Lionel didn't really become a painter until his 30s. But uh, when we were going through my father's things after he died, we found box after box of kitty art, of, of the children's stuff. Uh, of Lionel, and, uh, of, of Andreas, and my father, and, and Lawrence. And they're all date stamped and time stamped, you know. Lionel, Lawrence did this at 10.02 this morning. Uh, they were very interested in the development of their children. Well, it, it gave me impetus to be worthy of the name. The best part of it is that it made my career track acceptable. I'm an actor, a stage actor only, but uh, instead of being pushed towards a different kind of career, uh, I was pushed to be creative, and I was fortunate enough to be creative in a way that they hadn't been before, uh, because I know my father suffered from worry about either being taken seriously because he was the son of the great man, or uh, being compared negatively to his father. Uh, and that was a pressure I don't share. He said, when I last came here with my friend Giles Constable in 1936, uh, I went to my favorite tobacco dealer uh, who was on the street between the master houses and the Bauhaus, and he refused to serve me. And that, uh, that said this world is over because he thought they were friends. Uh, my father began smoking when he was 13, and this is 13 years after that. Uh, and so for this man to turn his back on him uh, caused my father to turn his back on the past.